Sort of mad as a goat. Now today I'm going to explain why I've had such a violent and angry stance towards people like Drake and Lil Wayne and Nicki Minaj, people posing as rappers and not educating people on the history of rap. I get very fucking annoyed at that because you let good things die off and then we never hear them again or they're really hard to find or you can't buy them in store like big pun. Fucking oh, amazing flow. This guy Mm, fucking nailed it. His legacy should live on in a big way. Should he be bigger than Snoop Dogg? Hell yes. Snoop Dogg has a nice voice. Snoop Dogg does it for shizzle, hizzle, bizzle, but no one could rhyme like Big Pun did. He just did it so quickly, but it sounded good, and it had such a good flow, and it just melded with the beat and became another part of the beat. He's that kind of rapper. If you haven't heard of him and you call yourself a rap fan, I say you go to the library, you go to the music store, don't fucking download it. Get that shit legit and listen to it in high quality and understand it. It's brilliant, but it gets completely forgotten. Why do you get mad at Lil Wayne? He's giving rap the worst name. He's doing all the stereotypes of rap that give rap criticism. A lot of people could criticize bands like NWA for their use of profanities and their violent imagery, but what they were doing was telling the story of their childhood to bring it to attention, and it was kind of a social political sort of thing. I can understand why they did it, I can enjoy it, I can listen to it, and there's a story behind it. But listen to Lil Wayne. Listen to the guy. He doesn't have much of a story, and if he has a story, I'm just wondering why he doesn't bother to tell it. Like a lot of people would say Eminem's best albums were the Slim Shady LP and the Marshall Mathers one, I believe. And yes, they're masterpieces. And why does his latest stuff lack that punchiness? It's not the profanity. It's not the shock value. It's the story. He did fucking amazing things with those. Whatever was going on in his life, he put it down on paper. We listened to it. We identified with it and we enjoyed it. Little Wayne does not do that. He just says, I smoke weed, I smoke twigs, I smoke cinnamon, you know, just dumb shit. He's just saying all the cliches. A lot of people could criticize Snoop Dogg for doing the same, but his earlier stuff, some of it did have stories. It did. There was stuff there. There was actual content. There wasn't just listing a bunch of things to fill a persona and to boost your celebrity status. It wasn't about that. It was about rapping and showing I'm so good at rapping, I can be famous just for rapping. That's what the big deal was back then. Easy e when he was rapping, he wasn't going, I want to be a superstar. He was going, look at me. A guy who couldn't rap. A guy who had his first song pieced together by Dr. Dre line by line. Look at me now. Legitimate rapper was about proving yourself. But it's not about that anymore. It's not about telling a real story. It's, not a, it's just entertainment. And the music industry, which it has become, is just that. It's a commodity. Rap doesn't, especially rap, it's, it's the biggest fucking one. It's the one that's been taken over just com almost completely. Listen to what they're selling to you. Don't take the crap, that's why I get angry. Why did I get so mad it started from the bottom? Because the motherfucker started with a great concept. You started from the bottom, now you're here. I get it, I identify. Give me some background and the verses were cheap and lazily done. I don't think they're even 13 bars. They're really short. They don't really say anything. And then he has the audacity on top of that. Towards the end of the song to say, we don't like to do too much explaining. Oh, what? I haven't noticed. I'm just a stupid person buying your commodity. You're not a celebrity. You call yourself a rapper. Be a fucking rapper. Rap. Give me something to listen to. That's why I can't listen to the radio. Because it has happened to your contemporary pop music as well. Listen to it. I mean, it's, it's horrible. It's just horrible. There's no content anymore. If you have a strong love story, it's just belted. And belted and belted. And just beaten and bruised. Adele has not enough emotion. It's there. She's got the talent. Where 
it's the story I want it more intangible I want it to feel more not so much fills with just yelling okay you can use that high octane that high energy voice sparingly don't make it most of the content I just wasn't satisfied with what was there and there's so much garbage like how that Carly Rae Jepsen song was on the news it was on the news, that's how much of a commodity it is. Let's face it, the news is just there to sell stuff. Most of the time that's what they're doing. I mean, if you watch uh, Sunrise in Australia, a part of their set is a McCafe. Basically a massive ad. There's Red Bull sign through the whole thing. It's mostly there to sell you shit. And then give you, you know, the updates on the day. Jesus Christ, the music's become a part of that. I, I like the Black Keys. But the new stuff sounds like commodity-driven dribble. Where's the soul? It's not there. And that's why I whinge about this music. I'm not whinging like some old guy. I'm 23 flipping years old. How am I going to whinge about it like an old man? I don't have that perspective. I'm whinging about it because it's a fucking peak. It's just something. That's all it is. It used to have emotive value and meaning. Now it's just a thing. It's, it's just this. It's the same. It's just another bill flapping through the wind. Oh, wow, it's so good. Now we got two. Oh, now we got three. This is what fucking Nicki Minaj is worth. That's what Drake is worth. And that's whatever. I don't even care. It's just a commodity. It's stupid. You're an idiot for liking the music you like, for getting upset that people just completely forget people. Like fucking Big Pun. No fucking respect for that guy. He was amazing. Big Al, maybe not your cup of tea, but you could understand he mastered the West Coast sound a lot better than most of the mainstream people did. In my opinion, maybe yes. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm getting all upset over nothing. But think about it. When music becomes a commodity and just another thing, What's the point? Where's, if there's no passion there, why would anyone bother to learn instruments? Why is dubstep taking over? Hmm? Why is that in commercials now? Dubstep commercials. That's how much it's taking over. And why? It's so much easier to get the electronic shit to do it for you instead of mastering something that's a marvel of mankind. Look at a guitar, mate. It's just vibrating strings that have been tuned and you know give frequencies and it's it's so complex more complex than your circuit board my friend when you think about the concept and how it works think about it how the body of a guitar is bigger and has the hole in it so it can amplify the sound a lot more impressive than just turning the dial on the speaker isn't it oh no it's not you just don't get it dubstep is fuck off idiotic and I could blame the record industries, but you know what? It's not the record industries. It's the fucking people who get to make the decisions about what is sold and what is good. And who is that? The corporate fat cats, the distributors and that. We're not going to distribute something that actually has some sort of tangible quality. Fuck that. More Nicki Minaj will make more money. Well, you made your money. Keep making your money. Money is so important. What's more important? This or a glass of water? If you're in the desert, which would you be more happy to see? Just think about this, you're in the Sahara Desert, right in the fucking dead center. What would your mirage be? $50 note, a glass of water, or a lake, or a pool. Think about it, there's so many more things more important. Yes, money is important to keep yourself going so you can enjoy yourself within things like water and the circulatory system. It's good that we can buy food, we need money for the food understandable money has importance but is it more important than just a simple glass of water is it more important than your heart is it more important than your brain than the thoughts that go through your head oh we'll just shut the brain off it's not really that important we've got money really you're gonna sell out your creativity you're gonna sell out your brain this amazing thing inside your head this the greatest computer in the world for money I, I'm, I just marvel at that, and no one cares, oh, it's just a joke, who cares, really, I'm the only one, I hope there's other people out there, 
I hope you understand why I get upset over these things, why it's not just hate, it's disappointment. And I hope you like the show. Massive.